Hello, everybody. This is Grace with Grace on a Journey Channelings. Welcome to the newcomer. And to those of you that are returning, thank you for your support. Your presence is appreciated and valued. So today, my inspiration Well, let me rephrase that. I was inspired to call today's episode No More Complaining. And I have a card in relation to today's title. And I want to start today by reading this card to you. It says, Complaints are affirmations of victimhood, which is never true spiritually. Take back your God-given power by affirming that you have an abundance of choices and freedom. With your increased confidence and assertiveness, watch these positive affirmations blossom into reality. No more complaining. So as I look at the first pile, The first card that I see, (laughs) I giggle because I believe two episodes ago, this was the first topic. Well, not topic, but the first card pulled, pulled out, but it was the same Regarding the same topic, I remember pulling out a card that said um, third eye and it had affirmations on it. And today I have a different card and it says third eye activation. And it says brow chakra, inner vision and clear seeing. So I believe This is confirmation that we have been saying our affirmations. And I'm so pleased with this result. Because affirmations work. I want to also tell you that as I share, it comes from the heart. But I always like to remind people that you should take what you want and leave the rest. I'm here to serve, but what I do is offer. And so what I share are gentle reminders from a good place. But when I share, it is because I personally experienced the benefits of what I share. And so they work for me because they are part of my story. And... I know there is a stigma regarding the third eye due to religious programming and misunderstanding. And I would like to share that if you are not comfortable, wait till you are comfortable. 
That is what you are being advised to do. When it is time for you to evolve on a certain path, you will notice synchronicities. And so certain gifts or practices will be inviting to you. They will attract you. And so I encourage you to take baby steps. Always put God first. And believe. Believe in yourself. Believe in your intuition. Believe that you are right where you are supposed to be at this given time in your life. Whether you're having an up or down, you're there because you are learning a lesson. You're there because you need you need some type of development in that area. You're there sometimes because you're being a teacher and other times because you're being a student. But everything has a purpose and you are being called to be present in your purpose. I once, can I self-disclose with you? (laughs) I once was exposed to the stigmas relating to the third eye. And so I didn't understand. And that didn't make me a bad person just because I didn't understand. It just meant I wasn't given all the information. And also, I was being given some wrong information. But my experience with my third eye is simply being able to close my eyes and seeing what God is sending me to see. Some of what I see gives me insight relating to myself, gives me guidance and shares wisdom. Part of my insight Gives me hope. Gives me assurance. And also, gifts related to the third eye can assist you in giving prophecy and helping others. I am being led. (laughs) Confirmation. So before I continue with the message I was about to give you. I'm going to share this message that I'm being asked to to give you. You are surrounded by supreme protection and are being encouraged to know that you are safe. Well, (laughs) to know that you are safe, even if things get bumpy. 
There may be some turbulence at this time, but soon everything will be smooth once more. And so that is telling me that those of you that feel insecure because you feel as if you're being attracted to one direction, but then your programming is in a different direction. And then this gives you hesitate hesitation to move forward because your safety is your priority. And you don't want to be led astray. And this is why I just shared with you that you need to trust God. That you need to follow his footsteps. That you don't need to conform. You don't need to follow the leader. You need to follow God. And as you follow God, he will give you the truth. So be content with that. And those of you that have been complaining and about confusion, about not knowing what to do, you have just been given some guidance. And so I repeat today's title which is no more complaining and I repeat the last message which is you are safe be content with that you are safe so The next card, surrender to the sweetness, Venus energy, pleasure, joy, make love to life. Some of you. are experiencing immense love. In actuality, I had to pause for a second because I had to find the words. <laughs> it's a beautiful experience. It's dreamy. It's pure. It's safe. It's just right. It's what you need. It's what you never want to be without. It's something you cherish. Because it's your treasure. In God. In God. You can find this. Because he will put you on a path where you just meet unintentionally. But just at your posts. Doing